Ladies and gentlemen, you are now tuning in to the undefeated Mustache John. This will be interesting. UEFA opens up proceedings against Real Madrid, Barca, and Juventus. So we can talk about this. Stevie D was messaging me. No, I'm going to say disagree to all these again. Get your cookies away from me. These ain't the kind of cookies I like. Um, Stevie D Baker was messaging me last night talking about this. So we'll we'll talk about this a little bit. Uh, they're not going to ban us, you guys. All right? It's not going to happen. I, I Without even reading the headline, oh, they're, they're going to talk about how UEFA is saying they're going to ban R Madrid and Barcelona and Juventus. No, they're not. You know why? Because UEFA like money. You know what gets them money? Having those teams in the tournament. You know what doesn't get them money? Not having those teams in the tournament. Also, the whole point of UEFA saying no to doing the Super League was that you that that you would see Barcelona and Madrid and Juventus in Champions League. What would be the logical justification of going, no, 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 you can't start that league and leave ours, and as punishment, we're going to ban you from our league for a couple years? Tell me how that makes sense. This is, again, this is more PR. This is putting pressure on those clubs to formally back down from the Super League, to condemn the whole idea, and ultimately, UEFA want more money, right? This is what it all circles back to, right? UEFA and FIFA jump down these clubs' throats saying, oh, these clubs just want more money. They're going to destroy the integrity of the game. They're going to ruin it for the fans all because of money. And yet here is UEFA demanding fees from the clubs, demanding percentages of their revenue from UEFA-sponsored events. Read between the lines here, folks. It's about the dollars. It's about the money. And UEFA know that they will make more money having Barcelona, Real Madrid, and Juventus in the UEFA competitions. Flat out, hands down, don't care what these articles say about clubs being uh, kicked out of Champions League, suspended from Champions League. Look at me. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. It's just not going to happen. There's no possible way it that does not work for anybody it is a big dick power play move from UEFA again trying to get those last three clubs to condemn the Super League everyone else involved all the English Premier League teams they all were like oh no sorry that was a bad idea terrible idea what were we thinking we'll, we'll never do that again Barca Real Juventus were like no no no, no. Super League was a great idea. We're going to stick with it. We're going to we're going to keep going with this idea. We're going to revamp. We're going to try again. So that's why UEFA is going after them with opening up these proceedings. And I get it. I get it. The headline says they're facing a two-year ban. It's it's just a power play, guys. It is just a power play. That's all that is. Look, this whole article, this whole article is two paragraphs. That's how you know there's nothing to it. This whole article is UEFA announced that it's open disciplinary proceedings against Madrid, Barcelona, Juventus for their attempt to create Super League. The statement read, following an investigation, yada, yada, disciplinary inspectors in connection with so-called Super League, blah, 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 uh, potential violations of UEFA's legal framework. Two-year ban potentially coming up for Madrid, Barcelona. The inspectors have opened disciplinary proceedings, uh, named a few names. Clubs that pulled out of the Super League listed those clubs. That's the whole article. That's the whole article, you guys. There's nothing here. There's nothing here whatsoever. Barcelona will be in Champions next year. Barcelona will be in Champions League the year after that. Barcelona will be in Champions League the year after that until eventually the UEFA monopoly is broken up. That's what everyone wants to overlook. UEFA did an amazing job of spinning this PR against the clubs in the Super League and turning the, a blind eye, turning the fans' blind eye, I should say, to the actual corruption and the actual monopoly of UEFA. These clubs wanted to start Super League just to break that up so that they would get what they considered fair compensation for the tournament because they weren't getting it from UEFA. Now, did they go about it the right way? No. I'm not sitting here saying that there should be the Super League the way they set it up. Promotion, relegation, winning, uh, or earning your chance to play in those major tournaments, I love that. They shouldn't take that away. Okay, so... The reason why they started the Super League, I agree with. The details around how the Super League was going to play out, I disagree. With all that said, this whole nonsense about UEFA opening up proceedings 
for a two-year ban on Barca, Real Madrid, and Juventus. It ain't going to happen, friends. I will see you in Champions League next year.